So one of the signatures in my design aesthetic is this pleated looking fabric. A lot of people think it's pleats, but it's actually made of wired fencing tape. And it all started with this dress here, which I made during lockdown as part of a school project with Phoebe English. And it's basically made of farming fencing tape, which is used in uh, the countryside to section off livestock. And during the pandemic, I set about creating a fabric from it, sewing it together strip by strip, um, and then developing all these shapes from it. So this is me experimenting on myself back home during that time, creating really ambitious and sort of editorial shapes. And then after posting the dress on Instagram, it went on to be quite successful with a few stylists. It was shot here for Hunger magazine on Stefflon Don, and then here are for Third magazine, and then also by Harry Lambert and Eliza Veta Poradina here for Pan and the Dream. And then that led to Perfect Magazine contacting me um, to work on a project sponsored by Tommy Hilfiger. And this is when I started working in ribbon instead of tape, which created a much softer and easier to wear version of the textile idea, which was used here as a jacket, here as a sleeve, and on the final look as a hat. Shortly after that, I started working with the actress Anna Swinton Byrne on creating three custom red carpet looks for Cannes Film Festival. I think this is where the ribbon textile really came into its own. We worked on three separate dresses. Anna didn't end up wearing the looks for the red carpet, but we did shoot both dresses in Paris. And after posting them on Instagram, they became two of my most popular looks. This dress, which is now named the Paris dress, remains one of my most popular dresses and is regularly hired out to people for events and editorials. And the third yellow dress was worn by the journalist Louis Bassano at one of the Cannes Film Festival after parties, which I managed to go to. And I think after that, the ribbon and tape textile really became a signature to the brand. It was worn at the Yinga Fashion Show in China, which was a prize for young independent designers designers, on the red carpet by several different guests of the British Fashion Awards, and also by the costume designer Grace Snell, who I used to intern for when she won her Biffa. And then it was the new year, 2022, and I spent the whole time developing my graduate collection, which was titled The Ballad of Two Lovers in Three Parts. Uh, it was really important to me that I used the signature textile in the collection, and it turned up in The Eloping Bride, as well as The Black Widow, two of the characters in my collection. Both these dresses have been extremely popular since graduating. The white eloping bride look will be featured on a dut in the new Pirelli calendar. And the Black Widow was on the cover of Perfect magazine on the supermodel Precious Lee, which has really been an amazing moment for me. And the chartreuse ribbon dress was used in the Sampa the Great Never Forget video, which was used in the advert for the new film Wakanda Forever. Other great moments have been this look in Vogue Arabia, as well as this custom dress made for the singer Sinena for her performance at the old Selfridges Hotel, as well as, of course, Roisin Murphy, who's really an idol and icon of mine. She wore the dress to judge an independent designer's competition, ITS, over in Italy. And now we're working on more ribbon dresses for customers and private clients who are finding us um, online through Instagram, as well as uh, the pop-up Fabutique in Shoreditch, which we've been going to every Sunday. Uh, the dress has been worn by Celeste for a Bond concert, and I've been developing more wearable versions like this cardigan, as well as bridal. This is my first wedding look the other day on a private client, Serena, as well as Connie Constance, the singer, and also for the Guap Gala here, and again on a private client. The dress was worn by Sminty for the Attitude Awards, one of the RuPaul's Drag Race queens, and here by Vogue cover star Shira, most recently in my uh, new studio space. We did a short shoot of some of the new popular dresses for my e-store, uh, also here on Model Issy. So that's a real roundup of the history of the ribbon and tape textile, one of the signatures of the Maximilian Rayner brand.